Lacrosse is one of the fastest growing sports in America. It's fast, it's physical, uh, it's intense, and it requires a lot of preparation and training to get ready to withstand those rigors of the game of lacrosse. For our athletes, we like to take a four-tiered approach to their preparation. They've got to have the skill of the sport, whatever sport that is. So, if, you know, in lacrosse, they've got to be able to handle, uh, stick handle. They've got to be able to shoot and pass. Uh, they've got to have speed and agility. They've got to be able to move and be quick on the field. They've got to have their strength training uh, that's going to help them be uh, fast and quick on the field. And then they've also got to have their mental toughness. So a lot of the training that we do from a strength standpoint is going to be geared towards their performance on the field. It's going to have a lot of explosive uh, components to it. It's going to have a lot of core and rotational components to it because all these for lacrosse are specific movements or specific motor patterns that they're doing as a lacrosse player. One drill, for example, uh, that we like to do is a rotation with a landmine, okay? When they're throwing a stick, they get a lot of rotation. So we do a lot of that in the weight room. Uh, another thing is a hip explosion. We'll do the Olympic lifts, cleans, and snatches. These are also going to help him work on his explosiveness on the field, running, jumping, throwing, all the things that he does as a lacrosse player. The trip comes here and he's, it's time to work, you know, he puts you to work. He's really made me into a, a good worker and made me a beast in the weight room, in lack of better words, I would say. I mean, all my uh, maxes and everything I used to be able to do have just shot up since I've been coming here and that's attributed to him. I trust him in every aspect of my training. It's really shown off. Tripp is one of those guys who knows a little bit about everything and he knows everything about training, you know. There's people in here that play tennis, soccer, uh, volleyball, baseball, softball, and he knows how to train each one of them to their specific needs and what to do for them to make them the most successful. Lacrosse is a fast-paced sport, and so with that being said, reaction is a very important part of the game. Lacrosse players have to be able to see the ball, they've got to be able to react off other players, and so part of our training program is incorporating a lot of different reactive drills to help them become better lacrosse players. The reaction lacrosse is key. It just get your training up to that next level in the game. And the fact that you have resistance while you're doing it, it's making your muscles quicker and faster as you're doing it. So you're just, the training here, you're getting more done in the amount of time you could do anywhere else. Trip puts me in a super long belt, makes me run, you know, the 40 yards as it's pulling you. It makes you run faster and in turn slowly builds the speed that your body needs to become faster. Um, these drills are going to help them open their stride length, work on their turnover. That way these guys can be the fastest on the field, uh, is as much running as they have to do. They've got to be able to maintain their speed and the overspeed training really helps them do that. We had a jumping train going on with 18 wheel tires this morning and uh, it works on your explosiveness, quick motions and movements in a different way that you usually wouldn't do it. It's just a different way to train and it's what well, I've noticed is very effective. It's worked on my jumping, uh, my, my broad jump, my, even my vert vertical jump, so it's helped a lot in my game. One very specific drill that we use for lacrosse players is our hitting harness drill. Uh, this, this harness is going to add resistance to the hips in a very specific manner that's unique to a lacrosse throw. So when, when he winds up to throw, the hips are what's driving the, the, the arms and the stick and we can add resistance through that movement. He, he explodes through, he's got a lot more whip, a lot more power on his throws, and uh, overall is gonna be a lot, lot stronger with a stick. 
I'm very excited about playing lacrosse in college and um, I was pretty nervous at first when I uh, signed my national letter of intent to play there. But uh, after that, I started coming here and uh, my nervousness kind of just went out the door. Uh, I, ca I came here and I was training with guys who play in the NFL, who play baseball, who play all sorts of sports, and they're training right next to me, and that kind of boosts your confidence, and you, you're training at a different level, and it really makes you into a, a good athlete. I can just make more uh, quicker and athletic moves on the field. I feel stronger and more confident with uh, my runs and my cuts and my moves, so I'm very, very pleased with the work I've accomplished here. So if you want to be the most dynamic force on the lacrosse field, check us out at Hammersmith Sports.